What's up, YouTube? Low Riding Gorilla here. Today is part one of a new series I've decided to start, where we're going to take a look at various simulators located across the interweb, or internet as more commonly known. Uh, the simulator I chose for today is Utility Vehicle Simulator 2012. Now, my idea with these simulator games is not to go across mainstream ones such as Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, the 18 Wheels of Steel series, or the Train Simulator or Train series, because everyone has heard about those at some time or another. I figured let's go with some very vague, maybe possibly unknown simulators that are really not popular, because if you look around, some of the ones that you see are... It's not really an interesting aspect, more than a curious, as this one kind of drew my attention when you think of utility vehicle simulator, it's very vague. And after looking into more of the details, I figured out the ve the game consists of three vehicles, one of them located right here, which is going to be our first vehicle. Um, it's a van, and if you just see a van, you're really not going to know too much on it. But basically it works is you have three tiers of vehicles in the game. You have this and two others, which I'll show in a minute. Um, the very first one being the van. Basically, the start of your game, you're going to be delivering packages, almost like basically a delivery service. Um, so as you can see, here's my van. And the thing I do like about it from the little bit that I fooled around with it is the detail on the actual opening and closing of the vehicles is actually pretty cool considering you do actually have to go up and open the doors and you're able to open the side door and everything like that. That's kind of cool. But, I mean, as in the thought of the game, I mean, I don't know if they're getting desperate for games, but some of the ones I've seen are pretty out there. Um, which you'll see in future episodes. Um, as you can see, this is our first mission. The local electrical retailer has delivered defective coffee makers. Take these back to the supplier between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. So basically our mission is, like I said, a courier service. We're going to be fetching the machines from the customer and taking them back to the retailer. I've already accepted the job just now um, and bumped the wrong button right there. So... As you can see, the red beacon, which we can actually see right here, is the retailer. And the blue flags located across the map are what we are going to get. As you can see, I left my vehicle running. But we're going to go ahead and uh, start collecting our packages. And as you can see, they even use the indicators, which you really don't need. I did that to show it. But if you do run red lights, you will get ticketed, which is rather funny. Um, so you you kind of have to have a good sense of patience to play this game. Um, but I did notice from messing around with it once or twice already, um, and that's where we can uh, view and buy other vehicles, which I'll show you as soon as we finish this uh, first mission right here. Right now I have right at 5,000 euros. Um, so we're going to be scrounging up some money as soon as we can to get some better vehicles. Because the last thing I want to do is be delivering packages for this entire episode. Um, I would like to try and get into another vehicle. And as you can see, I just killed someone. My mistake, but what can you do about it? I lost a hundred dollars, so obviously that person's life was valued at a hundred dollars well a hundred euros um as you can see, I do have a limited time frame on this one um but from what I've messed with already um the time frame's really not too much to worry about um but like I said. You have to apologize for me. I do say um a lot. That's just uh, my mentality, I guess. Um, let's, whoa. And this car just rammed into me as well. As you can see, the AI was not too smart in this situation. They did not, well, they did not have a yield. I wish they would have used the stop sign instead of a yield because I thought the cars would have yielded as well. So, basically, we've been playing for less than five minutes now, and we've already lost... 
right at around 200 and and I just had another car ram into me. As you can tell, the AI is not the most brilliant in the world. But right now we are pulling up to our first little stop. Um we're going to hop out real quick. One thing you do have to do on here is you do have to engage the parking brake to get out of the vehicle. We're going to open the side door and grab our package. And we're just going to toss it in there. Who cares? It's a recalled product. And we're going to go back around and hop in our driver's seat. So we're back on our way. Um, we're about to... As you can see, the handling is not too great, but I wouldn't expect too much from a giant van. And right now, while I was waiting at the light, I was fooling around with the controls as I do not remember every control off the top of my head but we're going to be taking a left right here whoa and there is first person view which I do not care for um but we're rolling up right now on our second package hopefully we don't kill any more people or hit any more cars on this mission because we're already beginning to try and put ourselves in the hole and we haven't even finished our first mission um, but let's go ahead and grab this box, and we have a car right there looking at us, and throw the box on the ground so we can open the door, and let's throw it in there, and we're going to just hop back into our vehicle. Alright, so we're continuing, we have what looks to be three more stops, I believe, so we're going to be heading this way now. Because I do remember from messing around with it a little bit before, this area right here to our right is like a one-way loop that runs through the middle of town. So we want to try and get, I guess, uphill of where we need to get into it because I don't want to have to make a giant loop around. But what I'm actually thinking right now is we're going to go ahead and take this uh, one to the outside that I see right here to our right. And we're going to knock this one out before we start heading back in the direction towards uh, where our destination is in the end. Um, and this one seems kind of satellite, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go pick up this one real And this car is going to try and hit us. A Beetle versus a van, I don't think that's going to end up too well. But also on this game, they do have fuel. You do have to keep track of the fuel in your van, as well as uh, it has lights and stuff like that. But the fuel's the biggest thing right now. I guess we have 9 liters, it looks to be. Um, I should have cut through the gas station. Probably would have saved us a little bit of a weight there. Uh, whoa, I don't know what happened right there. But for some reason, the vehicle jumped forward and we lost more money. I don't know if the game's after us or what. But it's determined to bankrupt us by damage. Um, but right here, we're going to stop again and pick up another package. Oh, and the problem with the little control scheme. And we're going to grab another box, throw it in, close the door, and go. And the funny thing is, is you can leave the door open, um, which I've done before by accident. And packages will go rolling right out the back of the... Uh, the van, which is rather hilarious, but is not too thrilling for what we're trying to do right now. Um, if we were to do that right now, we would basically probably end up failing the mission and have to start over again, which I don't feel like putting y'all through. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go run and grab these last two boxes. It looks like one is way out of the way right here, too. Um, I'm debating whether to go forward, but I think we'll go ahead and grab this one to the left here. And let's turn on the turn signal just for the heck of it on this one. And this car is going to go in front of us. And so is this one. Um, can we make it before this guy hits us? Yeah, he actually stopped. That's a first. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stop and grab this package. And... We have cars honking at us, as if we do, don't 
have anywhere else to pull over. They're just going to have to wait a second. So let's throw this in here. I love how all the other boxes are the same, as in the same product. But that's the one box that seems slightly different. Um, but we're going to go ahead and swing around right here and make the loop. And the one thing I could not figure out about this game was why they used all orange vehicles. I don't know what's with the color of orange. I don't know if I can change it even. Um, but, yeah. The orange really doesn't make sense. And there's no type of logo or company system like company name or anything that you can maybe do your vehicles with. But as soon as this light turns green, we're going to loop back around and uh, cross the bridge and grab this last box. As you can see, we still have 10 hours and 22 minutes to finish our mission. Well, 10 hours, 21. So like I said, I'm not too, too worried about it. But after this one... I don't know if we're going to have money to get another vehicle, but as soon as we can, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, and the green light. So we're going to go ahead and head back this way and gather the last product. I don't know what exactly we're gathering. It said recalled electronics product, I believe. So it could be anything from a toaster or a coffee maker, or maybe an appliance. Or it could be DVD players. We have no idea. Maybe the DVD players were shredding up and lodging strap in people's skulls. But I don't really know. Um, just trying to figure some sanity to what we're doing, I guess. Or insanity in that case. Um, but we're going to go ahead and grab this last box, and then we'll be heading back towards... Uh, our office, which is where the drop-off is. As you can see, another different shape box. Um, and yes, we do actually have to do that from what I saw before. You don't just pull into the uh, destination to complete it. We actually do have to get the packages and throw them out. But it's a lot easier throwing them out than it is putting them in. Because we'll just jump inside the truck and throw them all out the door. Because we don't care how it gets to the destination just as long as it gets there. Because as you've seen, we run over anyone, we hit any car to get our packages delivered. That is our goal. Get your package there on time. And we'll even get it around 10 hours ahead of time. But the package may not be in one piece, but you will still get your package. And the car behind me is honking at me like I have control over the car in front of me. Uh, but they probably saw my truck and know that I'll, I just ram anyone out of the way to get to where I'm going. But we're going to go across right here. Sorry, car, you're going to have to wait. We have a time frame. And I'm going to slow down. Trying to avoid tickets. Just so we can get the money together to get out of delivering packages. And maybe start cutting some trees. Or changing light bulbs. Which I'll explain in just a second once we get to where we're going. Um, and I believe that you can get pulled out or uh, get a ticket for... Uh, yep. Just got a ticket for driving too fast. I drove 12 kilometers too fast. Um, how you tell how fast to go, I have no idea. I have not seen a speed sign on here yet. I've seen it in a few choice areas, but I don't know if that applies to the general area of the game, I believe. Um, but, yeah. And I'm waiting for this stupid car in front of me to go. He's just taking his own time. Granny's going to get her medicine or something or another. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take this turn right here. And we're going to start heading back towards our office. Go throw those packages out real quick. And then we'll be done. And we can collect the money for this. I mean, we've only lost uh, $380 or 380 euros so far. So I'd say we're doing okay. I mean, $380, we haven't even put fuel in our vehicle yet. Um, but we're going to go ahead and finish this one, and then I will show you the other vehicles we have available to us that we have to unlock. And I don't see us being able to get 
too far into the other vehicles on this episode. Um, I may continue this one on the next part in the series, which is a strong possibility I may make this a two-part. Um, but if not, we'll start another game. But if you guys do want to see more of me playing this particular game, be sure to comment and like the video if you don't mind. Um, that'll let me know that y'all want to see more of this, and I'll be more than happy to play a little bit more of this. Um, also, if you guys have any simulator games you'd like to see me try and play, um, feel free to leave that in the comments section as well, and I'll look into uh, playing one of them. Because I have quite a few that I've looked at that I'm probably going to record myself playing, but there may be ones, like I said, that are vague or really unknown that you guys would like to see me play and uh i'd be more than happy to look into those as well but we're going to be uh pulling into this building right here and dropping off our first package well our first delivery but we're going to go ahead and park and let's hop out and do this the right way we'll open the side door and let's make this easy on us. And have a box. And I don't know why my guy won't drop the box. For some reason I'm getting... There we go. My guy wouldn't drop the box. I was going to get into the back and just start throwing the boxes out. But it seems like we can reach them all. I believe. I don't want to grab that one, so we'll climb in real quick. If I can figure out how to jump in again. Oh, there we go. And this box wants to be stupid. Doesn't want us to complete the mission. Why, I don't know. And for some reason, it will not let us have the box. You gotta be kidding me, really? For some reason, the left mouse button is not responding right now. There we go. And we have finished this job. I love the fact of the matter is we just throw the boxes on the ground and leave them there. No one's here to collect them or we're not putting them inside or even on the loading dock. It's just throw them on the ground. But we're going to be pulling out right now. One thing I will do before we finish this episode, is I'm going to go over right here to this building right here. I'm going to show you some of the available vehicles in the game um, that we can uh, use. For some reason, I'm having a lot of issues right now with the controls. For some reason, it's not wanting me... It's having problems with the mouse. I don't know if we're getting latency or... But right now, it does not want to let me out of the... But I'm going to go ahead and uh, call that an episode. Because as I was telling you, it's not wanting to cooperate too well right now. Um, so I'm going to call it an episode while I figure out these bugs. But if you do want to see me play more of this game, feel free to leave it in the comments, like the video, or even subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. But that's going to be it for uh, this playthrough of Utility Vehicle Simulator 2012. Um, thanks for watching, though, and hope to see you next time. Bye.